So let's put that here. Um, okay. Oh no. Oh no. I'm messing up everything. Oh no. Hey everyone, this is Akaz and I'm back with another playthrough for Grove because, as you might recall, um, I have already played through Orchard once and also have made a review on that and then I played through the regular mode of Grove but there's also the recipe challenge mode which I will play through today. So um, if, you haven't play, uh, if you haven't watched the other videos like for Orchard and for Grove, I highly suggest you do. But if you don't have that much time, because we all are pressed for time, right? And need to decide what we can, what we want or can do in our free time. Um, I at least suggest you watch the playthrough of Grove, so you know how the game plays. I will kind of mention how the game works today. I will play through it, of course, but still, I would. Um, suggest you watch the other video. All right, and just like with the other videos, I will not do a montage for setting up because the setup of the game is really quick. Um, I can just keep talking a little bit and the game is pretty much already set up, right? Um, that goes really quick. So let's put that here. Um, okay, and the game is almost set up. So let me put that in the right corner. I like to do that often. I don't always do it, but sometimes I do. So now the main difference for the recipe challenge is as follows. We shuffle all the cards, just like we did with the other game. Just give them a quick shuffle here. Um, you can also give them a riffle shuffle, but for that game it's not really necessary. Then we cut it, and then we take two recipe cards and put them here at the top, for example, or let me put them, uh, let me put them maybe here. Does that work? That does work. All right, so we have our two recipe cards. So first of all, we have our lemon soda and we have the key lime pie. Um, I will go over this, over those in just a mm, second. And then we take the other cards. We take nine cards, just as usual in the regular game. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and put the others aside. Did I count that correctly? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven should be left, exactly. And these are just put aside. All right, let me just get them out of frame. Okay, and that's pretty much it. Um, this kind of bugs me. Let me just put them in the right orientation again um, because then it's much more fun. Okay, then we put one card in the middle as usual, as we know, and then we take two cards into our hand. All right, that is the setup of the game. It is exactly like the base game, um, except for the um, fact that we now have two cards lying here. So um, what these cards do is twofold. First of all, they give us a condition, like any bonus points, for example, right? Um, so the lemon soda says all five lemon dice are in play on trees or glades. If that's the case, then we get five points extra, which is good. And the key lime pie gives us um, a double bonus for all lime dice. Now you might think, yeah, well, the game is much easier then. Well, not quite. This game is balanced, right? So now we don't um, use the score table here for our game that we have here. But instead, we actually see like a 30 and a 44. Together that is 74. So now we need to score at least 74 points in order to win. That's kind of similar to what Sprolopolis by Buttonshy Games is doing, right? Giving you different conditions and then um, also giving you um, a score you need to beat. Also, there is um, somebody outside um, cutting their hedges. Um, you might hear that a little bit in the background, but I will still continue to record, I decided, because it kind of fits the theme of the game, right? Just imagine we're sitting in a garden, I'm at the garden table with my playmat, and the neighbor over there is just trimming the hedges as I'm showing you how to play Grove. I think that works quite well. Also, it shouldn't be too loud. The window is closed and I speak quite loud usually. Okay, so, right, we need to get to 74 points at least and we need to see that we get all five lemon dice into play if we can. I mean, that's only five points, but still. And also lime dice are really important because double score is incredible. Okay, so let's see. Um, what we do is just like in the base game, I will not go over the, in detail, but we will put cards on here. We need to overlap the same colors um, to get as many 
points as the fruits are showing. We mark that with dice. After the 6, we increase it to a 10 and then to a 15 with the wheelbarrow. And the score is placed if we place a wrong color, um, a wrong color tree. Then we place the score, which will deduct points at the end. That's pretty much the gist of the game. If you need more details, either you watch me play here, which you will do probably anyway, I hope. Or you can just go to the other Grove playthrough where I'll go over the rules in detail. Okay, so let's see what we can do here. We want yellow and we want green. So we would have yellow and green here. Uh, but we would also have the scroll here already, which we don't want at all. Uh oh, that does not look good for good, look good for a start. Well, we could do something like this here. Can we maybe do something before that to get the red ones up there? I don't see anything we can do here. Well, this is still a really cool move, but we would also have the scroll there immediately, and that is really bad. I don't like that at all. So I think I will do it differently. I, I said I'm going to do it like this. Is that a good idea? Or is it better if I do it like this? And then keep my options open. Um, can I afterwards? Let me just here. Then I can put something here. That wouldn't be too bad. Yeah, let's put let's put this card here for now. So that is three yellow, four red, three yellow, and four red. Okay. So we want all yellows if possible, and we want a lot of green, and we don't have any of those so far. So let's see here what we can do. We do have green here, but there's nothing really we can do at the moment with that. How about here? No, nothing. We could put it like this, but then we would have the squirrel there. I don't want that now, not yet. Um, couldn't I do something down here? Here, like this. That wouldn't be too bad, right? So we would have two of each of those, and this one would be three still. And two of each of these three here. That is not great, but it is a start. I mean, that is a start at least. Um, so let's see. Mm. Ah, this is kind of difficult because that scoring condition is not is not too simple to be honest. Um, this one would be cool, but then we would have the squirrel here again, right? We would have the squirrel here. Um, can we? Oh, well, look at this here. This wouldn't be too bad, right? Because that would increase the yellow one to a four. The green to a three. This one would stay four. Then we would also get a red four down here. I'm focusing on the wrong colors, but that's the way it is. And we get um, a yellow. Oh, no, no, we don't get a yellow one there, actually, not at all. So, hmm, okay, well, that's that. Uh, so that is, I think that's one, two, three, four cards. So we should still have five left. Yeah, we still have five left. We need more yellows and greens. Yes, that would be possible. That would be possible as well. Um, but I can't do anything here. Uh, uh, well, not really, no. Okay, this one, there is something that would be okay. I forgot what it was, this one, but that's not okay. This one would be decent, but not good. Good, I could also just do it up here then. Well, can't we do it like this maybe? Then we would have two more yellow dice. You know, I have an idea how I could combine that, but I don't know if it's a good idea. I could put it here, then I would only have a three here, but then I can put that one here. I have two, three, three. Uh, two, three, and three, like this. I know I didn't, <laughs> I know I didn't um, draw a card, but that's just a move I wanted to do. Um, and because now I can try to get the other yellow ones on here somehow, I hope. 
Um, so let's see, um, like this would be possible, not good, but it would be okay. Um, yellow, yellow. Well, if I take a skull, I could also put it like this here. Um, how about this one here? This one would be even better. I would have one scroll there, yes. But you would have a lot of other dice there. But the problem is that we would have like dice on the glades and they don't score, right? We could also do it like this. We would score this one up to a six. And yeah, I think I, I think that's what I'm going to do. And then this one will, will become a squirrel. We have here a six. Um, this will be a squirrel. We will have a five here, a four here, and a two on the yellow one here. Oops, oops, oops. That didn't quite go as intended, but I guess we got it now. Um, what was that? A two. Right? Oh no, oh no, I'm messing up everything. Oh no. Uh, yes, that was a two. Okay. So, like this. Two more cards. Okay, uh, that's not a good score that we have here, but let's see if we can somehow salvage that. So, we do need another uh, yellow one. Let's see what we can do. Also, of course, you can't overlap the card with the score anymore, right? That's something that I did not mention in my other playthrough, I think, but that's the way it is. Okay. Um, no, no. Uh, I don't know. Either the cards I have drawn are just not good or I'm just not good today in playing this game. If I put it, oh, this one is not too bad maybe here. Um, but then we can't do this and we can't do anything. Well, then we could do this, which would be bad, but I think this would not be too bad because we could get a green and a yellow there and the green that would count as six, right? That is not horrible. So I think that's not a horrible move. So three and four. So three and four. And we, now we have all yellow dice here. So we get five points plus, but we will not reach these uh, 47 points later on. We definitely will not. And that's the last card. So let's work with that. Maybe I should have looked in advance what I want to do with that. But well, yeah. Uh, so we could put that here. That would be even two more there, three more there. That would be okay. I guess that would be okay at least. Um, let me see. There's nothing we can do like this. It's not gonna work. Yeah, that is not the best round. Oh, well, actually, oh no, no, that's not, doesn't work either. No, forget it, nothing actually. Uh, yeah, I think I will do what I just wanted to do. And that was put that to, a, turn that to a five here and that to a three. Come on, there we go. And we finished with all the cards, so we are done now. So now we will just count up all our, uh, all our points and we'll try to get to, uh, 47 at uh, 74 I mean which you which will not happen so um, let's start with the well no let's just uh, remember to double all the lime dice and you will start with five points because we have all five lemon dice in play so that is uh, five points nine 19 22 25 28 30 33. 39, 44, 46, 48, 50, 54, 58, 60, 64. Minus three, so 61. If I'm not mistaken, we should have 61 points now. Let me just quickly, uh, quickly verify that. So 61 points and 74 we should have reached. So we did not win the game. Um, yeah, we did not do the 
best place. Um, there were a few things that we could have done better. And um, probably I shouldn't have focused on the yellow ones because five points is not that much. Um, probably I should have just focused on the green ones, right? Maybe get another six in there and that would have been almost already enough to win. So uh, maybe have maybe get another wheelbarrow in there. Just imagine having like a, a green wheelbarrow or something. That would have been, would have been amazing because I think the wheelbarrow does count as a die. Um, so that would have been really amazing. So yeah, we don't quite make it, but now you know how the recipe challenge mode works. And it's pretty cool because you actually have like all these different like things like the limoncello, the tutti frutti, orange jello, fruit basket, orange juice, just orange liquor, just a lot of stuff. Um, that all have to do with like this fruit kind of stuff, right? That's pretty cool. And you see here, like at least four dice of each color are in play. Okay, wow, that's a lot. Um, we would have made that already. And that's a bonus of 10 points. That's good. Um, but that's also like 35 points that you need here, right? Or like Limoncello, all lemon dice score double. Okay, that's similar to the lime dice. And it's also the same amount of points here, right? So um, that is actually pretty cool, I would say. Yeah. And that was my playthrough of Grow, this time with the recipe challenge. Since I recorded this video before I went live, I'm adding this while editing. I want to thank all of you for your support and especially my patrons who are generously supporting me on Patreon. Also, a big shout out to Thakronol, who's currently my biggest supporter. Thank you so much for that. If you also want to support me, why don't you head over to my Patreon? You'll find the link in this video's description. Well, if you're still watching, thank you very much for doing so. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, why don't you let me know by liking, commenting, maybe even subscribing. That'd be great. Um, also, I have a lot of other videos on my channel, so you can check out those. For example, the other Grove playthrough or the other two Orchard videos like the playthrough and the review you can also um, think about joining my discord server um, it's really cool over there so i'd love to see you there and apart from that thank you so much for watching i will see you in the very next video or even on my discord server all right take care everyone and cheers